Hey guys, it's me, and it is. Yeah, are, are you too clouded to announce yourself now? Do you want to? You want to announce? No, I have people to do that for me. Oh wow! Well, um, it is. Video with us at the program. Right <laughs> it is uh, six paths and myself. Um, I haven't been uploading much. It's been a lot of personal stuff. Uh, I'm trying to get back into it. Uh, I wanted to announce. Or I wanted to one say thank you so much for our recent growth. Um, Six has other people to thank for his recent growth, but I only have my viewers to thank. <laughs> um. <laughs> if, if everyone didn't know, I recently did a video with uh, Seth the Programmer. And who else? And Swartani. Ah, you forgot you forgot about him. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you so much, guys, for really pushing me. I reached a thousand subscribers. Six Pass is sitting at four thousand, five thousand wow. maybe. 5,000 probably yeah. by the time this video goes up, at least. No, um, I'm at 5 already. I'm at 5.4. Um, this is an older video. It's me debating the same topic I debated with Jaw Jaw, but I'm debating it with Anime X. Um, this is a lot older. This this recording comes from Bauer Gokure, which is Anime X's server um, back in the day. Um, I've been holding on to this for a while, and I just thought it would be some good content for you guys to have. While I'm working on the next big video that we're doing, I'm doing a large scripted fight analysis on Asta versus Gojo. Me and Six are working on the script right now. It's going to be a solo vid, but I need his help. Um, we're going to get an editor on it and everything. So it's going to be a ton of fun. Um, everybody look out for that video, and I hope you have a great day. Well, Any um. Uh, I think it was a week ago, maybe two. I actually did a video with Seth the Programmer in Swayakaga. Okay. Bye, guys. Have fun watching. All right, Mr. Anime X. Wow. I feel like <clears throat> We shall be debating today Raikage fight Sasuke <laughs> versus, or, um, Heavy Sasuke versus Raikage fight Sasuke, correct? Yeah. All right. I'm local muting you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. <laughs> this and you're retarded all right um i am taking the stance of raikage fight you're taking the stance of heavy heavy sasuke yep okay is there any like canon policy you would like to enforce or um any specific like changes to like vsbw standard battle assumptions nope <clears throat> that's fine all that stuff is good standard shit i guess okay anime manga whatever it's not really that big of a deal um right. yeah who do you want to? Who do you want to like judge? I don't really mind out of um, anybody in here. I mean, villain or Tess, both are fine to me. Okay. Villain, you got it. All right. Uh, yeah, villain, villain. He said he's gonna come right back, so I'll just. I think he'll just mention or just say something when he gets back. What? <clears throat> okay. Yeah, <laughs> That's good enough. All right. Cool. <laughs> All right. Cool. Do you mind judging, <clears throat> villain? Yeah, I'll judge. All right. Do you want to get more? <clears throat> um, I don't know. If Spencer wants three judges, that's fine. Um, or if yeah. if we were to go for a three judge scenario, I would say perfect and Tessero, but I I don't see a need for one. I think that okay. this will probably end in um concession among one of us, because okay. like we're both good enough to know when we're beat. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, Alrighty, so uh, I'll just <clears throat> start with my basic premise, whatever. Uh, so the premise, and then I'll get my scans too. My premise is just that Heavy Sasuke should have better scaling uh, in general, like speed, AP, just overall power, uh, in comparison to Raikage Fight Sasuke. And then any hacks that Raikage Fight Sasuke should have just would not be uh, effective against Heavy Sasuke in a prolonged battle. So... <clears throat> And yeah. Okay. So yes, and you um, hold. Yeah. I, I would just hold. Um, I, I I guess I haven't made like an opening premise in a long time. I'll just make an opening argument instead, right? I would just okay. say that like um, off of the basis of the Jugo statement and and then the Karin statement, we would dictate that it would be something more like um Raikage fight, or at least um as we get deeper into the Raikage fight, right? That Sasuke would be above the Sasuke that's in his curse mark state on the basis of the statement of his chakra. Okay. 
When um, is the uh, Raikage fight? If you don't... Oh, fuck. Never well, mind. See. Raikage fight should be easy to find. Never mind. Okay. I don't know why I was looking I for the Jugo statement. I For some reason, I pulled up, like, ready to defend, um, like, fucking B fight over... Or B fight under heavy under Raikage. Oh okay. oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but it should be easy to find. Um, yeah. All right. All right. So, do we want to just like start with the Karin statement? Yeah, we can. Because I, I feel that. like I'm that's like. That's gonna... Yeah. This point anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because if we win, if or if I were to win, like an interpretation of the Karin statement, then the way that Sasuke's chakra would interact would be um would be greater. Or I guess we could start with like um. Do you recall Toby Rama's explanation of the Sharingan in itself? Um, I do. Basically, like hatred amplifies it, or whatever it amplifies, mm -hmm. like the the strength of the Uchiha themselves, right? Basically, okay. um, uh, it's something along those lines. Like, uh, strong emotions amplifies their chakra, or um, okay. g gives them like a stronger chakra. Is uh, okay. as he says, um, I'm trying All to right. find it so that I'm just not spewing conjecture. So that we can, like, um, yeah. if you want to, like, debate the wording of the statement, we can. Um, All right. I'll, I'll wait until you get the Toby Rama statement, and then I'll just, I guess, start okay. arguing. Viz decided to shit itself. Holy fuck. <laughs> um, let me check uh, Let me check the scan server real quick. I think it should be in there. Damn, it's not. That's crazy. Um, Do you want me to send it? Yeah. Do you yeah, have you Toby have Rama's it. description of the statement? Because that would be amazing. The one where he's talking about Madara, he's saying the Sharingan taps into the power of that person's heart, rapidly increasing his strength. Yes, that one. All right, cool. Tesser <clears> already <throat> has it. He's quick with the oh, shit. Okay. Um, when an Uchiha right. known love loses it, blah, blah, blah. When Uchiha suffer after experiencing the loss, special chakra sp sprouts inside their brains, which affects their optic nerves and produces a change in their eyes. This is the Sharingan, blah, blah, blah. But, like, we know that even after they just, like, um, they just get the Sharingan, they can continue to harness this chakra and it continues to grow. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I agree. Okay. So then is, is um, and, and you know that chakra can have, like, um, densities to it and, like, qualities about it, which would, like, affect <sighs> yeah. its potency and the like? Yeah. Okay. Like, so, uh, yeah, I agree. Like, its potency can have, yeah, I get, I get you. All right. So um, if we know that the Sharingan works off of like um, or I guess we would we would have to dictate like um, or we could sit here and argue about what qualities uh, like um, ascertain to which. By the way, okay, um, so yeah, mm -hmm. we can like sit okay. there and, and dispute that. Sure. So I'll just ask first before I like go into anything. Do you think the Sharingan amplifies the user's chakra? Um, Am amplifies it, it, like, the user's chakra it more or makes it more potent like okay so like for example or right, is it do you think it's like a capacity thing or do you think it's like a potency like their chakra is now just like it's just be it's just a stronger chakra like for example kushina has like potent chakra right in comparison to other uzumaki do you think that, like, these strong emotions do that for the user's chakra or gives them an abundance of it um i'm just curious hmm uh, I'm gonna go back and look at the Toby Rama statement specifically. Okay. Wow, Viz shit it's wow twice in less than five minutes. That's a new record. Never pay for Viz. <laughs> it's a scam. I was literally about to pay. <laughs> okay. Special chakra sprouts inside their brains, which affects the active nerve, producing a change in their eyes. Right. I would say. Um, I would say it's one of two things. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Either A it uses a different chakra than their normal chakra brace, normal chakra base, right? Which is like, um, which you could ascertain why they're able to turn it on and off. Unlike others, no matter the quality of that person's chakra control. Um, I think that's fine that like, um, they're able to use this like significantly colder chakra. Mm -hmm. And it's like a more potent version of that chakra or something. Um, like the, as their pain increases, this chakra becomes more potent and they gain more of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's, let's say like, just uh, for the sake of argument, right. I did agree that Sasuke after this hatred, right. Um, his chakra does become more potent, right. Do you think that this potency, uh, inherently means that he's stronger now? 
Like um, if he has this more potent chakra at his fingertips. So you're aware that like that that more potent. Uh, I mean, right? Chakra potency is like something that does con like um equivocate to strength. If somebody had different chakra potencies but the same amount of chakra control, they would be able to use less chakra in their techniques. And they would therefore oh, be I, able to use I agree. They would therefore be able so to I'm use not, the same amount of chakra, right? And it would just mm -hmm. carry them further. So I do think that like um in the case of same person, different mm -hmm. chakra potency, some mm -hmm. the the one with a higher chakra potency would inherently be stronger. I do believe that. Okay. Okay, yeah. So I think I, I worded the question weirdly. All right. So we we agree that they should have the same chakra control, right? There's no like problem with like heavy sasuke having the same chakra control as like right kage fight sasuke or do you think there's some reason his control should be better or worse um uh, I, I would say seeing is like um seeing as he now has like the ability to uh break out or he was able to break out of sukiyomi formerly right mm -hmm. in in his base mm -hmm. form and he like struggles and then breaks out of it so i would just say that like over the course of heavy um like over the course of his heavy form his like chakra control gets greater and then he's like okay. training the entire time he has ms to like be able to weird okay. wield the power of itachi's eyes so i think like um i, I think that his yeah. chakra control would be improving okay um you saying wield the power of itachi's eyes are you talking about when he gets ems like the eternal mm -hmm. mangekyo yes okay so because obito doesn't want to give it to just... him what well, obito doesn't want to give it to him immediately right because of the fact that he's like i, I don't know if you're like you're ready for the power yet so oh, I think okay, that okay, okay. I think uh, that okay. Sasuke is progressively something. getting stronger, right? And, and okay. he like in that he would also be getting better chakra control. Okay. Um do you is there like a direct comparison that you would be able to show like oh Sasuke's chakra control here for like any example of like him being able to do a certain uh feat that would indicate better chakra control because if not it'd just be like you know, it, it's a. Uh, it would simply I'm be conjecture like, if not, is what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I guess I would say his ability to like um, use a Madarasu and Kagetsuchi, because previously or whenever he first unlocks it, right, it's just like a blob, and he like he uses all of his chakra in doing so, right, and then he's able to more refine, uh, or he's able to use the technique in a more refined manner to where he doesn't just like jut out all of his chakra in one use of a Madarasu. Um, yeah, I'd argue that's better control of the Mangekyo, right? Because, like, it's a completely new ability. And if we are going with the idea that basically this intense emotions do flood you with a different form of chakra, right? I just argue that, sure, Sasuke has better control over this new chakra, but heavy uh -oh. Sasuke wouldn't need to deal with that regardless, right? So, like, basically, um, I'm fine with, like, uh, five or not five like raikage fight summit sasuke being able to control this mongekyo or whatever chakra that we're kind of like arguing for like talking about or whatever right because you said it's like a different chakra that floods the brain right well i, I think that it's like a special kind or tobirama does say that it's like a special chakra right which okay. would imply that it's not of the normal chakra like um source or potency whatever it may be okay sure so I'll just argue that basically in the beginning, like as soon as he gets to the Mangekyo Sharingan for the first time, right? This flood of chakra is not something that he controls. Basically, it's not like a, his normal chakra, right? So I'll just argue that um, since the only like chakra control feats we'd see for Sasuke like being different are like having to do with the Mangekyo, I'll just argue that he has like better control over this special chakra, but that doesn't relate to head be sasuke in any way like, okay so he would have yeah. he would have better dojutsu and better control over the same dojutsu that's what you're agreeing to basically better control over his mangekyo i don't know why i'd relate to the base sharing on necessarily uh, you don't well you're aware that like um the mangekyo and the base sharing are both of the same like um chakra it's like both of the same special chakra by the way this was the second half of the statement that i was looking for because this is like the okay. important half um, it's like a Tobirama um, states the Sharingan taps into that power power of the person's heart rapidly increasing his or her strength um, <laughs> taken by darkness and fell to evil the deeper the darkness gets the greater the ocular powers implying that like the darker or deeper his chakra is the greater his ocular jutsu okay all right that's fine um yeah so basically where we're at just to make sure before I press forward right mm -hmm. 
is that with this special shock, like this, basically this, um, like these strong emotions, he's flooded with this, sh like more like this stronger, like basically more potent chakra, right? That's what yeah. we're at. Let, let's say okay. like, um, let's say that it's like the shelving that is stated with the QB, right? Um, okay. or not specifically like working the same way in every instance, but that there is a chakra supply that the Uchiha base themselves off of normally. Mm. And then there is a chakra supply in which their Sharingan is based off of. Or okay. not like not completely separate, but their Sharingan calls on to this like um stronger chakra supply, right? Okay. Yeah, so I'll basically which could, argue that which um, could yeah, even yeah. like um and then I would say that off of this basis, right? And we notice that these people get like physically faster and stronger as their dojutsu increases. We would say that as well as like um this chakra working for their eyes, that this is just like uh, I, I would say that based off of that um because you are aware that like as sasuke gets three tomoe he gets significantly stronger and faster as sara gets one tomoe she gets significantly stronger and faster um like as you activate your dojutsu your your speed and strength increase you would agree to that correct mm -hmm. yeah. or whenever you unlock your dojutsu i should say so yeah. this special chakra right i had previously stated that it might be like a different source but i would have reason to believe that like they're tapping into it with their entire body okay. Based off of these um, feeds. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just let me grab one thing real quick, and then right. I'll move on. Uh, so basically, my argument will be that like while Sasuke is gaining this abundance of chakra, right, through the um, through like his, you know, the hatred in the Mangekyo in general, right, which I do know gives him like an amp. Um, uh, we do have in like we do have reason to believe that Sasuke should actually have lost a good amount of chakra as well. Uh, due to well, there's just the the fact that he lost Orochimaru's chakra right, which was sealed within him, and then the curse mark, which uh, basically should amp him. Do you have disagreements with the idea of like the curse mark, even when not active, amping someone in base form? I have no reason you, to believe that the curse mark amps this person in base form. In fact, okay. I would believe that due to the fact that they're having to suppress the curse mark from taking over, that it would actually be a hindrance to their chakra control. Okay, here, I'll, uh, I'll get, I'll, like, uh, I just need to go to the first Naruto versus Sasuke fight, but I'll show you real quick. Uh, Sasuke just outright says that the curse marks are amping him, uh, during his fight. <clears throat> Hold on. Sasuke, uh, um, I'll, I'll try to recall it as I look for the scan, but basically Sasuke, like, is able to fight off Naruto in base. And is saying, right? like, oh, I don't need the Sharingan to fight you. You recall yeah. talking about that? Yeah. Uh, I would argue that that's like um. I would argue that that's because of the barrel, like the barrel giving him an amp, and then the curse mark flooding him with energy, like hmm. Yeah, it's the master because the, the barrel. All the barrel does is allow him to fully master the curse mark, right? Like the, that's the reason he needed to die in the first place. Like he needed to like whatever he needed, eat the chakra pill, die, and then he would be revived with the ability to basically completely master it without the negative effects of like almost dying in bolt like whatever right and then yeah and i'm saying so like gonna... wait i'm saying that the use case changes as he grows up right and he has to suppress the chakra of the curse mark or else orochimaru pops out and steals his body oh uh oh you're saying oh like when he absorbed orochimaru right yeah okay so i'll get to that in a second but um like first like the curse mark in general right just the curse mark before he absorbs Orochimaru, right? Do you disagree that that's a bit like a base amp? Um, like I mean, him absorbing Orochimaru into his body or whatever. Like, um, do you? Because I'll I'll just get it if you do. But um, ah, uh, yeah, I would yeah. I would much prefer to see this game personally. Yeah, I got you. Hold on, I just need to find the chapter real quick. <clears throat> I'm at 226, and I overshot it. So. Okay. Yeah, I overshot it too. 225 is like an Itachi flashback for some reason. And it yeah, seems to have stemmed from 224. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Okay, Sasuke activates his Sharingan in 225. Okay. 
Okay, so. By the way, not many people notice this because it's not meant to be noticed. But every time there's a flashback in Naruto, the manga panels are black. Or like the surrounding of the manga panels are black instead of white. It's actually kind of expensive. All right. Basically, yeah, the argument is Sasuke, while in base, right, is doing better against the Naruto that, like, he used his Sharingan against. Like, basically, like, this curse mark is is the equivalent to the Sharingan amp to him, right? And at that time, he had two Tamoe because he evolved it from Orochimaru or whatever. Um, uh, wait, what, when is two and a half Tamoe? Two and a half. What I'm do you kind mean? of oh, derailing one, here. Yeah. He has one Tamoe and two Tamoe? That's Rock Lee, I think. I thought it was two it. and three. Versus Rock Lee, I'm almost 100% sure it's one and two. And then he develops the second Sharingan to its two Tamoe against the Rochimaru. He develops both three Tamoe during the final Valley fight. He had one and two during Haku. Yeah, and he, he still uses anyways, it against anyways, Rock Lee then. That's so, All right. that's stupid. But <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Do you I, um, um so, so I this, would say so like, right. So this, um Oh my fuck. Sorry, we we just keep like <laughs> we just keep like starting to talk over each yeah. other. Okay. Um the statement is ha ha ha. This is what Richard Marty was talking about. My body's adapting already. So much power so quickly. Once the curse mark is unsealed, how powerful will I be? Um, and then basically my argument is like with an unsealed curse mark, right? Because it's still sealed by Kakashi. And I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to attempt to quantify the nerf or whatever, right? The basic premise is that to this point is the curse mark while um, sealed, right? is giving him enough strength to make up for what the Sharingan did for him against Naruto. Because he was forced to use the Sharingan against Naruto on their fight on the rooftop, right? I so mean, basically okay. the curse mark I guess that's him... fine then. Okay. I have a quick so question. Curse... I don't know if this will be of like um of contention. We're under the okay. assumption that like each of these different Sasuke's does they don't have to like duke it out over summonings, right? What do you mean? Oh like they're both trying to summon or whatever? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I don't. I mean, I didn't incorporate that into the argument. Not okay. really. I wanted to make sure that we weren't going to be like, oh, well, they're both summoning Monda at the, or out at the same time. <laughs> Ugh, yeah, I got you. Um, no, because they're both they just both have access to the same summons. So it's not really okay. beneficial to, to argue that. Um, So basically, do you have like, I'll just just to make it clear. Do you have problem with the idea of like in Kurt base, like. Sasuke should have, like, a two Tomoe Sharingan, like, amp of, of like, I guess, Raikage fight Sasuke, who should not have okay. that curse mark amp. Um, I'm sorry. I was under a misconception. All right. Okay. Sasuke what, actually what? is going into his half curse mark state, like, as he's stating this. Mm, oh, I found the full spread. Mean? Here you go. Let me see. Sasuke, like, goes into, like, a, a CM1 state, right? And then he starts suppressing it and then talks about how much power he got from, like, that weird, C like, half CM1 state. Oh, so you're saying it's in reference to this, basically? Yeah. Okay. Hold on one sec. Let me see. Because I just grabbed the scan. I didn't actually look it before. it. Yeah, it's 219, pages 10 and 11. <laughs> Okay, so even if um that's that's really fine, even if um we were to say like like uh, this statement were not to be held true, right? We do know that Sasuke is just physically stronger and faster than the last time they encountered, because even when they like when Naruto and Sasuke clash Chidori versus uh Rasengan, Sasuke does like clash like and they do cancel each here. Let me make sure they cancel each other. I know. Naruto goes flying back, but I'm pretty sure they just canceled each other out completely. Yeah, I think that's like uh, into 225. Yeah. Uh, so basically what happens is they just both go flying back, right? Whereas before, it's implied that like <laughs> Naruto would have blown Sasuke, like just would have killed him if they, they would have clashed earlier, right? So I still think there's indication like basically um, through the statement and through... I, I mean, it, 
like, okay, disregarding the statement, through here and the fact that he just does better without the Sharing gone, right? I just argue that um, he's basically much stronger than he was before, even with the Sharing gun, which you've like, like, which we've agreed is an amp to their strength and their speed. Okay, I so basically, uh, there are like, okay, insert pick of moderate versus guy. Nobody cares about you, not blah 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 blah. Nobody gives a fuck. Anyways. I would say that there is like two interpretations for this, right? You could either say one, Naruto is tiring down as Sasuke amps himself with the sage energy, right? Um, he like gets to a point where Naruto previously was, and therefore he's just above Naruto now that he's tired out, right? Alternate interpretation, we could say that Sasuke sucked in more Senjutsu energy than he had had in the first place, and is just now using it in order to amp himself, right? What I'm saying is, it wouldn't just be by proxy of the curse mark existing there, but rather because of his use of it. Okay, so you're saying like, okay, but when they do both get blown back, mark, by the way. Yeah, okay, so that's still fine. Like for the can't like each other canceling, whatever. Um, but um, whatever, right? Um, so what were you saying? I'm sorry, I kind of missed a little bit of the point. The what was the last interpretation? I got the first. Oh, one. oh, that he's at like. <clears throat> A point greater than he was previously in his base form due to having absorbed senjutsu energy in that moment and i would just use the scan of like after the clash sasuke states ugh and i was at full power when he countered my chidori in his jutsu <laughs> which you could either you could use that to like um you could use that to either say oh naruto was fatigued and so his jutsu was like the same level that it was like um forever ago on the rooftop or whatever even though he's stronger or you could use it to say okay well uh, naruto used the same jutsu and sasuke has a stronger chidori now and yet it's still like um they still canceled out okay so even if like we were to say okay sasuke has a stronger chidori and naruto's the same right is that like where you're at like he just used the same jutsu but now sasuke's stronger and they still canceled each other out essentially right yeah that would still mean that Sasuke had to have gotten stronger because before, yeah, right, just I agree. based on the damage that they would have done, they would have like Sasuke X, would have just lost. And X, done. I agree okay. entirely. I oh, agree that Sasuke okay. got stronger on the basis okay. that his Chidori cancels out the the Rasengan. Oh, okay. But I'm saying that it may have been due to either a Naruto is fatigued in this state and his Rasengan doesn't scale to what it did on the rooftop, or okay. B, right. Sasuke is like, or Sasuke is like, um, gotten himself to a point where he's stronger than Naruto is a, sorry. Um, cause Naruto's fatigued. Sasuke may be like, got himself back up to full power as the statement says, or B he goes above his full power by having Senjutsu chakra, like amp him to the point where he was above and then suppressing the curse mark again. Okay. But when we see him, use Senjutsu from the curse mark, we see that it like takes over his body or at least covers him partially. Right. But when they clash, um, no, I'm saying he no just still has, like, the, the chakra. Because he remarks oh. that, oh, so much power so quickly, how powerful it, will it be when it's unsealed? Implying that, like, he still has this power, even though he's, like, sealed it back up. Okay. So the thing is, though, right? So if you're saying, like, okay, so he still has access to it without the mark spreading, right? Is that essentially, or am I still yeah, like, yeah, missing yeah. something? Yeah, I'm just, okay. just like, so um, there would be... just like how a Senjutsu user could, like, um absorb sage mode in order to like replenish their chakra supply and then just fall out of sage mode and they could still be like um near full power even though they fought for all this time okay or um, how jugo I mean, can I... like replenish people's stamina via sage energy but they don't go into a sage mode like state oh uh, okay um is that yeah. like a is that a better apologism for you <laughs> yeah no i i understand it better i understand it better um is it do you have like a reason or like there's indication in the series that naruto's like fatigued for any reason um oh i i guess i could drop that interpretation entirely i think that the scan <sighs> okay. that i posted more um more falls in line with the second interpretation anyways which is like okay so oh, sasuke is at full power right? sasuke is like and above there. his full power even and naruto's oh, okay. like just where he was before and Sasuke is just now canceling out due to the additional Senjutsu that he has. Okay, so I just argue that if Sasuke could um, manifest this, like, Senjutsu-like power, right, without basically adding the strain of actually, like, making the curse marks come onto his body, right, which he does do later in the fight, like, um, 
he's like now he has to, he brings it out because what he does right after they clash he's, he's his his um strategy is basically to amp himself with the curse mark and then stab so Nar to in the chest with his shidori yeah right? so that he can make another shidori he he directly states um like, I can't risk making one, especially if it just draws out a stalemate. My best bet, create an, create an opening, quick moves in Jutsu in rapid succession, then move in with the Chidori, right? So he's like, okay, I'm. this is like my, my last resort, my best tactic, right? I'm going to open up okay. full curse mark so that I can get this energy, shoot a Jutsu at him, and then move in and Chidori him through the chest. And it works, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. I guess so, I could also like, say that, like, um, uh, so, so you're aware of how, like, um, you know that the base body stays the same no matter how much, like, um, Senjutsu you have in you, right? Like, the Senjutsu amps you, but your base body is still, like, uh, the same no matter what form you're in, right? Like, um, it obviously amps your stats, right? I'm okay, not saying yeah, that. I, I'm saying okay. that your, like, your chakra amount stays the same. You just add sa oh, Sage sure, Chakra. Yeah. yeah. So, basically, um, it's more, or, you're aware that, like, as you recklessly and recklessly like get more and more sage energy, if you can't control it or need it in your own chakra at like the correct pace, you grow more monstrous, right? Mm -hmm. That's been shown through like Jugo, every curse mark variant, and then um, like even Toad Sage, right? Mm -hmm. So I think therefore what Sasuke is doing is right. He like um, because gr growing more and more reckless means that he like fights in different and different ways, right? So I think that he just isn't ready to go into that CM2 state. He isn't ready to give in to that bloodlust. Because as we can see at the end of the fight, Sasuke also isn't ready to give in to the bloodlust. Even though he has like a complete chance. So I could say that in character, Sasuke wasn't willing to do it at this point. Wasn't willing to what? Enter the curse mark stage? A enter like, like full entry? curse mark transformation. Like that of like uh, Jugo. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. So I'd basically argue, right... That even if, like, we're saying Sasuke, for some reason, right, is using this curse mark energy to, to amp himself back up, right, to, like, his full power, right, or maybe even take your, your argument of go beyond that, right? Why, like, why is that not something that, like, base heavy Sasuke would have at his disposal? Oh, or is I'm that not I something that, hmm? like, basically, this is something that, like, like, okay, so the same amplification method, whatever. Oh, right, that, okay, okay. That this I forgot means. what I was saying, because... Basically, the reason that, um, like, Eddie Sasuke, after he absorbs Orochimaru, is, like, very, very stingy about when he enters Curse Mark is, Orochimaru can pop out and take his body at any time. So, in character, he's just not willing to enter, like, a Curse Mark transformation all willy-nilly unless he has a large amount of chakra. And he's, like, very stingy about when he uses the Curse Mark in the first place. Okay, but he used it in the fight against Dater. Have to use it even to amp himself past his base, mm -hmm. because okay, so no, no, no. I'm saying he doesn't have to enter full transformation. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, I agree that he doesn't have to enter full transformation to amp himself past his base. He doesn't mm -hmm. do this in character any longer in the series, but like um, he has the ability to. And then we have like the added effect of, so he only does it whenever it's like extremely tactically advantageous or he would need to do so to survive um okay. otherwise he just like otherwise he doesn't do so due to having to like suppress orochimaru especially so much so in this form right which is why he can do it in his base form but whenever he like tries to attack itachi and curse mark 2 uh, orochimaru comes out so i'm saying that it's just like his chakra control is like partially at all times distracted by orochimaru Okay. Um. I'll just. I just argue that like Orochimaru's influence is very minuscule to the fact that like even Sasuke out of shocker is able to suppress his presence for a while until he enters that curse mark two state. And I'll. I forgot what chapter it's on, but I'll I'll find it real quick. Are you talking about the end of the Itachi fight? Yeah. It's basically like he's he, base almost verbatim says that like he's out of shocker right, and then Orochimaru still doesn't pop out of his like his curse mark until he enters or he tries to like force himself to use more jutsu right or well, maybe you know that like memory. you know that like out of chakra is like that statement is like relative to every ninja who says it right oh like, I'm, I'm aware i'm just saying it's a relatively small amount of chakra right so him allocating well i'm saying that like chakra. i'm saying his statement of out of chakra 
would at all times be in reference to the amount of chakra he would need to suppress Orochimaru. Okay. I'm saying he's accounting what? for that in every time that he says, I'm almost out of chakra. Hmm. Well, ba mm, hold on. well, based on what, though? Like, why would you base it off of that, that idea? Or why oh. wouldn't you just say that it's like, okay, he's almost like, of course, when you say you're out of chakra, it can't mean zero or else you'd be dead. Right? Yeah, exactly. But why can it not just be based off of your overall level of chakra that you have rather than okay. like. Uh, let's put it like, like um, yeah. let's put it like if Kushina said, oh, fuck, I'm out of chakra. Right. But we know mm -hmm. that the nine tails isn't present in like tearing okay. apart the village. Obviously, okay. Kushina is saying I am out of chakra relative to the amount of chakra that I would need to allocate at all points in time to like suppressing the nine tails. So it would just be a similar case in reference to Sasuke. Okay. Obviously, right, so he wouldn't. Okay. If we know that Orochimaru isn't present, right, or that mm -hmm. um, Kuruma isn't present, and he states that he's out of chakra, and we know that the term "out of chakra" is relative to each ninja and what they have going on, therefore, right, uh, we, it would we incorporate. I got, yeah, I got it would incorporate any ongoing jutsu that they have active. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. So why did we stem to this point? I almost completely forgot. Uh, I was saying that like um, a, a Sasuke without Orochimaru, right? Mm -hmm. If Or basically the argument that I was trying to make is if we have a heavy Sasuke and a Sasuke with Orochimaru, or if we have heavy Sasuke and a Sasuke without Orochimaru, right? In mm -hmm. base form, a, he a Sasuke without Orochimaru, if they're e of, like, equal health, would therefore be stronger on the basis that he does not have to distract himself with suppressing Orochimaru. Okay. But would that not be ignoring the benefits of Oro absorbing Orochimaru in the first place? Well, I mean... Because, like, so... Yeah, okay, so, for I, I example, agree. Right, I agree like, that, like, um... I think Orochimaru's chakra is, like, a more potent chakra. I don't know how much chakra it gave Sasuke. But we know that okay. it has like regenerative properties that have been like um that have been shown time and time again to be that of like a, a very potent chakra. Yeah. Okay. So basically, like the example, like what I'd basically make it akin to, right, is Naruto for like has to allocate chakra to suppress Karama, right? Yeah. But we also know that this chakra does like, like strengthen Naruto in general. It's kind of like a give and take situation, right? Like. He has to suppress it to keep him from like Karama running wild, right? But we do mm -hmm. know that Karama does help him, right? It, it's so hard, I just yeah. argue, but it, yeah. in in the difference is that like um, this chakra would be able to move freely within Sasuke, right? It would be of its own pool uh, or of his own pool. I understand that. Okay, so basically, Sasuke would just be able to freely call up on this like more potent version of his own chakra, right? Or it in his own pool of chakra, and that would be like that would be an added amount to his, or an uh, added potency to his chakra that Raikage fight Sasuke wouldn't have, regardless of, like, the, um, excuse me, the, the, like, the control factor, right? Okay. So, basically... So, yeah. we're talking, we're referring to, like, the difference in, in potency now, correct? Yeah. Okay. So, I would just say, uh, Karin's statement would not only incorporate Orochimaru's chakra and how, d like, sinister and potent that would be, but it would also incorporate the chakra of, like, um, the curse mark transformation, which is also stated to be incredibly sinister and potent. In fact, it's stated that curse mark chakra is outdone by Orochimaru's chakra and how sinister it is. The cur uh, can I see that statement actually? The curse mark over Orochimaru's chakra, you said? No, no, no. Other way around. Other way around. Okay, so Orochimaru over the curse mark chakra. Yeah, in terms of like sinister intent. Okay. So if Karin's mentioning the cursed mark itself, would that not leave the possibility that that with Orochimaru's chakra incorporated, there's no like there's not a difference, or like I mean, there's not like a you know, you're aware that, that Karin, feels. you're aware that Karin's only ever seen Sasuke's cursed mark state when he has Orochimaru's chakra, right? Yeah, but hasn't she only seen partial transformations of his cursed mark state in the first? No, place? she senses him during the Data fight. Mm, okay, let me. In fact, I think um, I think um, all of Taka is like talking during the Data fight. Huh. Let me see. I, I'm trying to. Uh, let's see. Let's. Let I can go look for that if you want. But I, as I recall, okay. they yeah. like cut away from the Data fight, and Taka's like commentating, 
And she's like, wow, he just went into, like, curse mark. Yeah, could you show me that? Yeah. It may take a bit, because this fight is, like, weird and spaced out, but... Hang on. Sure. Do you know what chapter, around what chapters it's in? Yeah, I'm starting on 355. Okay. It may start on, like, 357, though, knowing this manga. Nah. Oh, no, it starts on 356. That was good. I don't think I've actually, like, read this fight. I've only looked over this fight for skins. I got you. Some, some kind of same here. We have the Kabuto Rochi Maru of Reveal. Oh, part of his face is, like, covered up or whatever. Yeah, that shit was disgusting. <clears throat> Holy fuck. Oh, if I had found this earlier, this would have been disgusting. I'm going to post this. Hmm. This is what Kabuto says about, like, not um, fighting away Orochimaru's chakra. Oh, damn. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> okay. Very intriguing, in fact. All right, hold on. Um, He's like, yeah, I have to fight work? tooth and nail just to make sure. I mean, for that, I just argue that Kabuto is just a far like lesser shit yeah, yeah, yeah. than someone like Sasuke. Eh, but I, I obviously would agree, right? Um, <laughs> I just thought it yeah, was that like caught me off guard, though. That caught me way off. I was like, "Holy shit!" That's Kabuto, a dump you... truck of a scan. Let's <laughs> <clears throat> see. Ah, uh, there's that gorgeous Itachi panel. You know exactly the one with the light with the light behind him and everything. Yeah, the one that's supposed to be like a blatant religious imagery. Yeah, that one. Okay, I don't think they cut away mid-fight, because I'm almost at the end of the fight. And for them okay. to cut away when they're, like, on the ground talking to each other would be kind of weird. But I do know, like, she picks up his body. Okay. Like, I know all of Taka meets over there, oh, right? Oh, no, she had been sensing it the entire time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, after the bomb, she says, I can't sense Sas Sasuke's chakra. Because he gets reverse summoned out of, um, out of that, like, um, nearest point. And then Suigetsu's like, oh, fuck. You killed him. <laughs> or he's like, fuck, you killed Manda. Do we have a reference point for when Karin started sensing Sasuke's chakra, by the way? Because I think um, that's pretty important. Because if she senses it, like, senses a fucking near-dead Sasuke, that's problematic. Like, in, in uh, even, like... She was able to sense near-dead Sasuke from the village, like... Across the mountains. Mm -hmm. No, I don't have a problem and with the distance. I'm asking more when she starts sensing. Because, like, I'm, I'm wondering, does, like, is there, like, an indication, like, a small cutaway of her I, sensing? I posted, I posted all of what is there. Um, okay. I guess. Because that because what i'd argue right is that she sees ex this explosion in sasuke's direction and then starts sen sensing it for him yeah senses for him because she's like what the fuck like that's a nuke that just went off over there right and then she when she doesn't sense it there's like you know there's just a problem there right so you know you could you know, i like, found it, would it. Be... yeah oh, okay she says his chakra suddenly disappeared which implies that it was there before okay <clears throat> So therefore, she was able to send such uh, like a CM Sasuke with Orochimaru's like um, sinister ass chakra, and then says that the chakra of like it, um, a three Tomoe Sasuke is even more sinister and cold. Okay. Um. Do you like? Uh, I guess I'll still ask this question. Do you have a reason um to like to believe that she started sensing uh before this or like at the beginning of the fight? 
Um, <clears throat> because well, like the it, moment, it basically okay, what it um, basically what happens is um because you know that Karin has like passive sensory right like yeah. she's just walking around she can sense chakra she then focuses mm-hmm. by throwing out the like um. It's either half tiger or half rat. Either way, we know that hand seals in themselves focus their chakra. Um, okay. So she's like basically focusing on the point where Sasuke is, and she can't mm-hmm. sense the chakra any longer, right? Okay. And then she comes back and says, I, your chakra suddenly disappeared, right? Which implies, okay. or I would just say, right, she used passive sensory up until the point where she can't feel Sasuke's chakra and sees the explosion, um, whichever comes first, right? She mm-hmm. then looks for Sasuke's chakra and can't find it. I think she okay. was sensing him the entire time. Okay. Um. Sure. Okay. So I'll ask you this: If this passive sensing is like you know as potent as her regular sensing ability, right? Uh, for any reason, or like it, it's just as good as a version as her regular like half tiger seal sensing, right? Where she basically focuses her chakra. Uh, do you do you have like an art like a reason why she would even form the half tiger seal? or half rat seal, whatever seal, right? Why she would form this seal to begin with if she was just passively sensing for Sasuke or in general? Um, Because if, like, if her sensing was, like, good enough to just be able to sense Sasuke in general, right, uh, then I would argue she wouldn't need to do this. There would be no, like, purpose. In or specifying? She's doing, yeah, in specifying. Like, because if she's sensing, if she's passively sensing, right? Oh, um, okay. Because what I'd be I don't, I don't is like believe that um, could be different. Yeah, I don't believe that the range changes. Um, okay. I, I do, in fact, believe that like um, the sharpness with which she can sense does change. Okay. But it's fine because she's sensing um, she would have sensed his like a uh, curse mark chakra, in the same way that she sensed his um, his three tomoe chakra. Because in the point where she senses his three tomoe chakra, Jugo's having her like um sense to see if any like strong chakra signatures are coming and she senses the raikage and like she does, she, sp- does she form the the tiger seal or no no she's not oh okay. she's just like focusing a slight bit more or at least to my knowledge she's not we can look through that together yeah, i wouldn't me, want me check i wouldn't want to just like throw that out and then be wrong okay let me see uh so it's recall, before like, you go transforms it should be before the Raikage shows up to fight. Okay. Because, like, you see the Raikage coming in the scan that I posted regarding okay. Sasuke. Nice. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. By the way, Sasuke cutting down on the flags is anime only. Big sad. Uh, uh, what? What flags? Hold up. Are you talking about where he runs on the ceiling? <laughs> yeah, where he runs on the ceiling and oh. cuts all the flags. Yeah. Yeah, okay. She can like sense everything that's happening in the summit or for the most part sense like the chakra signatures of those in the summit without any need to form hand seals. I'll post that. Cuz after yeah. Zetsu provokes all of um the Kage, the Raikage breaks a wall and all the samurai start like running around and she can sense that. And she's mm-hmm. not performing any hand seals. Okay. Um, Would you, like, be adverse to the idea that difference in range is what's possibly affecting this as well? Like, for example, if you're, like, you're right next to this loud, like, gunshot going off, right? And it's going to it's gonna seem different, right, than if you're, like, super far where you just hear a little pop in the distance. Uh, but, like, do you, like, okay. Um, let me see. Does Karin's, like sensory abilities ever have like a range that she herself or someone else like states. mentions the data book yeah. states a range for her okay um i think it's her. the fourth okay. i know it's in a seth tweet let me yeah, look up right. tamari like, universal because that okay. it's in the same thread as like um yeah i found it okay because basically what I'd be arguing yeah. right, is if she has an effective range, even if she's passively sensing with both, like with like the first example, she's a decent distance away, right, from like Sasuke to, you know, the explosion is huge, right, it's whatever, um, versus like her being right next to Sasuke and passively sensing, right? 
uh, I'll check this on in a second. Let me open this bigger. But um, apparently, so it think, says she can it, sense for like ten miles. It's kind of wild. Thousands of miles. miles. Sorry. Holy shit! All right. Nice. And I think this is the third data book, not the fourth. Okay. It also says her sensory powers surpass ocular jutsu. Huh. Her cold eyes can see for thousands of miles, and her heart belongs to Taka. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Sure. Do you so want to like have Warren. debate on whether it's talking about like, on whether the term eyes is talking about her actual eyes or sensory capability? I mean, I I don't have a problem with it being her sen sensing capability. Like, if okay. she wears glasses. Like, come on now. Um, obviously, oh, obviously, <laughs> she can't see for like thousands of miles if she wears glasses. Yeah, I don't. This yeah, has got to be about her like, sensory capability. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's see. So we're at Karin's state, and like we're at Karin's um sensing. Right. I I think we came to this because I was like, she's only sensed him in like partial transformation, right? That's what I said. Yeah, you had said, oh, she okay. like um, I uh, how do we know that Karin was able to sense him whenever he had Orochimaru's chakra? And I okay. said, okay, date or a fight, she senses him. And then mm. we get we went from, okay, well, um, the she she like focuses at the end of the date or a fight. And I said, okay, well, she could passively sense him the whole time. She focuses because she can't sense him anymore. Um, so she can probably just, like, pinpoint her focus on chakra signatures. Okay. Just be more precise with it, essentially. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, uh, let me see. I don't think that would even change, like, how she feels about a chakra, though. Okay. Um. Okay. So, basically, the... The, the seal would what just be more direct coordinates rather than a general place or would it be oh, like um, a difference of maybe she could sense like larger chakra quantities with the seal um or can like more more effectively sense how large a chakra quantity is um okay. this so is... a better gauge of how much chakra that person has then yeah but <laughs> i don't think that changes like um how the chakra feels at all Oh, like the, the coldness or whatever? Yeah, which um, is always the qualifying statement. Or which is the qualifying statement that we care about. Yeah. She's, yeah, it's colder. Yeah, okay. And the reason coldness matters is because Toby Ram. All right. Um, okay, I'll just go for, the, yeah, I'll argue for this then. Um, I'll see how this works out. So if okay, so for example, like Karin has a statement, right? Uh, Hebi Sasuke. I'll just send it. I have these actually. I don't have to fucking look through chapters. Um, Hebi Sasuke just has a feat of where like he blitzes Jugo and Soigetsu when they're fighting, like when they're about to recruit Jugo, right? Yeah, he uses the uh, snake summoning technique as they're like fighting because he told them to stop fighting. Okay. Um. Yeah, he summoned. Yeah. The snakes, so he just summons these two giant ass snakes out of his sleeves, like that's what it is. Yeah, basically, um, like Orochi, Maru, and Gang don't turn their arms into snakes, they just summon snakes. Okay, um, do you have a disagreement with him, like this, this Sasuke being vastly faster than these, like, so get uh, these, so he gets you, like this, so he gets you in Juko? Um, I'll send it real quick. Yeah, it's oh, like a partially a transformed Jugo and a Suigetsu who is like fatigued from traveling. You know what okay, like Suigetsu did... you know Suigetsu gets stronger the more time he spent outside of his like um cell in uh, Orochimaru's lab, right? Oh, do do we have like indication of this or really? like he yes. said it outright? He oh, like the... multiple times asked to take a break while they're hiking towards um while they're hiking towards the north hideout where Karin and J or where um somebody is. I forget who it is. But he like okay. he's like asking Karin and um, Sasuke to take a break, even though they're like less than a mile away. Mm -hmm. He like physically okay. can't hold himself together. So, do you think that's indication that in, in this instance in particular, he's like weaker? Yeah, I think he would be heavily fatigued, and it wouldn't okay. scale to like um a Suigetsu that like um like this Suigetsu actually has like trouble um or at least it's implied that like he has some sort of trouble um. Like holding Zabuza's blade in the first place, 
And Sasuke asks, like, are you, are you sure you're strong enough to, like, fight with that? Okay. Um. So, but we see, Do like... Do you want in, those in, skins? Like, yeah, I, I know okay. what you're referencing. Uh, Justice, so it gets you getting tired one. I'm not sure I have that one. Okay. Um. Uh, but yeah, Well, yeah, I had just have, found... I found him picking up the summon or the executioner's blade, which is why I referenced it. So oh, okay. there you go. Um, All right. It should be after they get Karin, they're like going to get Jugo, and Suigetsu's so okay. like, um, "Can we take a break?" And they're like, "We're almost there. Like, why do you want to take a break?" Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So it's basically the argument that like he can't hold himself together very well. Like, yeah. and that's like an indication of his his strength growing. Not like even like. His physical state. Actually, he has to oh. amp himself to cut down a wooden door. Mm. Oh, where he like makes his arm all big or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I just argue that even in like the Raikage fight, like when like so he gets who has to try to block a strike, his arms do turn into water. Like in just uh, no, I'll, I'll send it real quick. Oh, so you're trying to say that like um. Are you Basically, trying to say, like, okay, Suigetsu has poor AP and all we need is his speed scaling? Yeah, like, so he's, his power isn't really relevant. Like, okay, so he's swinging that's, his sword, that's right? Fine. That's fine. But when uh, I have the stress, statement like... of him, like, um... <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I have the statement. Because, like, he even gets stronger according to Karin. Because Karin's like, well, we're at the northern hideout. Like, if you can't take the walk there, you will die fighting the people that are there. And so he gets he's like I I like I, can we like take a fucking walk like can we take a break bro? Um okay I mean I just think that Karin's like uh, I mean I wouldn't argue that this is like a literal interpretation of if he can't walk there like he's gonna get tired um he's gonna like literally not be strong enough right so like would you be arguing he got stronger during the walk or whatever? I would say that or like just um acclimated to his. I would because say that he as he gets his, more his and more acclimated, um, mm -hmm. like, it's it's much better. Yeah. Okay. So, let's say that, like, you know, he has problems, right? Because we see him deal with these things, like, like pre him messing with Juga, right? After this, do we get any indications of him having any, like, of these troubles? Like, having um, any of these, like, these problems? I, like, I don't know if there's... Bit? I don't know if there's anything specific, but I'm just saying that, okay. like, during, like, um, I would have no problem saying, okay, well, after this, he's totally cured of his ailments for whatever reason. But I would okay. definitely have a problem saying that, like, during this time where they're looking for Jugo, after whenever they're, like, I, I forget what Karin says. She says it's a little, literally, like, she's, like, downplaying the walk that they have left to the northern hideout. Um, okay. and if you've ever <clears throat> seen the Northern hideout, it's like a weird Island connected through a tunnel system, if I'm correct. Um, and they've like just made it to shore. So they're literally just hiking up to the entrance. Right. Mm. And Suigetsu's so like, yeah, I saw this on the map and I don't think I can like, I need a break. So I'm saying that during he's probably still fatigued and we know that the Jugo that fights Suigetsu and gets speed blitzed isn't even like him. This isn't anywhere near a full power Jugo. And in fact, he's being held back by a chain ball the entire time. <laughs> sure. Um, for the, uh, I do rem remember the chain ball, but if so, it gets you just like swinging or they're just swinging their arms, right? In that instance, does his leg like really impose like his movements at all? And, that um, and then as for like, he I, actually doesn't I, move his right foot. That's attached to the ball at all. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, okay, so if he's just swinging his arm, right, like it's yeah. axe blade or some bullshit, uh, do you think, like, and it's Sorgetsu's just countering it, does that impede his swinging speed or, like, his like his attack speed in that instance, would you say? No, I, I wouldn't say so. I'm just saying okay. that, like, um, larger movements were basically, like, Jugo just couldn't handle that. Okay. Um, because I'd essentially argue that, let me see, e even a, uh, like a half transformed Jugo does like if you were to say like okay so the Jugo that reacts to V1 Raikage is like fully transformed right that's a fair point but we still have this Jugo reacting to like Darwi who shows uh like a relative speed feat to the to V1 Raikage anyways right like he's able to block the sword and interrupt this this strike I'll, I'll send the scan um, yeah okay 
So we do have like reason I to mean, believe this, that even that's a, not the same Jugo, mind you. Okay, well he's still in like this mal like this not fully transformed. Like, do you arguing he's in a higher curse mark state or um, <laughs> or what? Like, no, I'm arguing that like um, Jugo gets like multiple amps and buffs throughout um the series. Okay, uh, basically. Um, like, he he's like in a nerfed form at this point, or he gets a nerf, but like obviously he's able to counteract that nerf if he's able to react to the Raikage, which he can react in like um he can react to the Raikage in a fully transformed state. If you remember the um he puts up a shield as he sees the Raikage charging, but yeah. um like the Raikage still stabs him through the shield. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what like what power ups or like what indicates he's getting stronger like these nerfs mm -hmm. as he's um. As on, they like, they travel together on the basis that like um. Well, basically on the basis that like the Raikage must be faster than B at this point in time, or is like um the Raikage is just like uh, stated to be faster, the strongest person in the village in um the third data book. And then so we have like okay. continuous reason to believe the fourth is stronger than B, and like Jugo couldn't react to B. Okay. And the when reason the that Sasuke was had a book range to, by the way, just like real quick, so like I know the timeline in my head, because I I don't know like when the data books like their cutoff points. Are. Oh, that's totally fine. Um, okay. I'm trying to look. The third data book ranges to like statements regarding Madara and Gang from the Five Kage Summit. Okay. Um, uh, that's like what I can find easily. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So do you have like, okay. So would you argue that that statement of like the Raikage being the strongest isn't contradicted by like B literally intercepting one of the Raikage's attacks, uh, at least V1, or even if, even if you Wait, were to say like, okay, what, hey, what full power about? Raikage. Okay. So I don't have a problem with full power Raikage, right? Being above B. It, it doesn't really like matter to the, to the, the like the point i'm making right so even if we say like okay so jugo slower than b right and b's um like slower than the than like this like full power raikage right does yeah. that like so reacting to v1 wouldn't necessarily contradict that scaling would it because what, if jugo you just, reacting if, to v1 yeah yeah like it wouldn't necessarily mean that he has to have gotten stronger because if b jugo, would just be right. weaker than two raikage Right, it just be B it'd just be, be weaker than like. Um, <clears throat> I think that like you could say that okay, well, um, like B speed is actually not impressive, right? Um, it's rather the way that he fights that they have trouble with, because Swigetsu says that he can't read his movements, right? And mm -hmm. Sasuke is able to react to V one whenever it's in a straight line, or V one B whenever yeah, he's I in a straight line doing the lariat. And, like, okay. he has trouble reacting to V1 or Ikage with a downward chop. Oh, okay, okay. Um, So that's... F okay, so are you essentially saying, like, B's... His, he fights unorthodox, which is why they had problems? Yeah, I'm saying right. that, like... Okay, I'm saying that Jugo... Like, um... Jugo gets, like, bitched by something very orthodox, if I remember. I'll have to look at it, but... Mm. Sasuke, like, gets fucked up by B's, like, seven sword style. Mm -hmm. which is like B turning around in circles and there's multiple different like um blades jutting out all ready to get you and then at one point B just like injects Sasuke with like seven different syringe kunai at the same time yeah in Sasuke it's like he's like um uh what is it so we get to stating like oh Sasuke's having trouble reading it with a Sharingan I don't know what Sharingan Sasuke had out at the time I don't. I actually don't know when the B fight takes place in the manga. I would have trouble finding that, to be honest. Um, let me see. Um, I know we had three Tomoe out because he activates Mangekyo a little bit later when he activates like Amaterasu himself for the first time. Hold on, where is this shit? Um. All right. One second. It's like before the sun. Because Itachi fight, fight yeah. okay, the Itachi fight is before pain. 
Yeah. Which is a weird place to put it, but whatever. And the B fight is... It starts... like Okay, so basically the fight is in its... Here. I just found my way to the middle. It's about... It's in the, like, 410 range is where it starts. Yeah, it's, what? it starts at 410. Yeah, it's weird. It's during why. Ross and Shuriken training? I guess that's fine. Alrighty, let's see. Yeah, and it kind of... It cuts itself off, which is weird, but... I, I don't really like this, but whatever. Um... Jugo, what did fucking? Wish they would show that Jugo just runs at him and gets fucking off screen, which is interesting. Oh, are you talking about Ju when Jugo like literally gets leaked on the floor? Yeah, yeah, he runs up to him and then just gets body slammed. Yeah, hmm. that was pretty. It was pretty so sad actually. For, yeah, for Jugo, that's definitely. Nigga, a, <laughs> they did get my nigga Jugo, Jugo that's dirty. Definitely a speed thing. Like there, there was no, there was one blade Jugo. Come on now, hold on. Let me see. There's no... Jugo just got... Because Jugo's like, oh, I think I'll be able to keep myself under control this time. Then he transforms and just gets slaughtered. Yeah, let's see. Okay. B pulls out his sword style. Fucks up Sasuke. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't think Jugo... Does he interact with him? Like, any more after this? Does Jugo interact with B? Yeah, he takes him from behind, but that's not a speed feat. Like, yeah. Can need that. Um. Okay, that's that's still it's still fine because it relates back to like the main point I had really because like okay, so when it's talking about this statement, right? Do you think that it's in reference to V two Raikage? Like um, just the strongest Raikage is over. Like, I don't v? know. I have no. Okay. I have no awareness. I guess I okay. could. I guess I could take it even a step further, right? Mm -hmm. um, no, that wouldn't be good for me. Never mind. <laughs> Were you about to say yeah? It's a V two. Um, um, all right. Anyway, no, I was about to. I was about to bring up some like Kisame scaling. <laughs> ah shit! Oh, mm, whatever. It's not. It's not whatever. Um. Okay. So, I'll just argue that base B should scale above V one Raikage. Uh, like. Do you, on what you basis? Have, at least in terms of speed, because uh, he catches, he intercepts the Raikage's like attempt on Naruto's life or whatever. That's a stronger B. Get... Mm, why do you think he's stronger? Because he was also on Turtle Island training with Naruto. All right, very intriguing. Okay, um, yeah, that's all I got. I can see. Okay.